everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and we have returned back to our adventures of Claw's Requiem. Now, in the last time we got kind of stuck within this kitchen and we thought that these maids make us stuck in here. But what we actually needed to do is rewrite the menu that has been given to us. So, first things first, we're going to be talking to Maid D so that we can actually get the menu itself. Welcome, Mr. Michael to Armut. I am a maid of this mansion. I cordially invite you to Miss Claw's dinner party, and we shall accept the invitation. Then, until preparation is complete, please wait a moment at your seat. Thank you very much. So now we've got the menu in place. What we're going to be doing is rewriting it, and for this, we're going to need our wonderful friend, the Quilling. Join paper doesn't matter. The course menu is written here. Number one, fingers and teeth. Number two, hair salad. Number three, heart extract. Number four, eyeball marinade. Number five, blood sherbet. Number six, eternal organ steak. Number seven, lump of fat. And number eight, body fluid tea. Now that's not the correct order. Uh, no, we're going to be looking at the memo first, and the first things we need to do is rewrite the menu so that it is not contained of human matter. Forster over a soup, fish, granite, meat, cheese, dessert, coffee slash black tea. So that's the main. That's the order we need to do this in. We get it. Rewrite it, and the order is hors de ble. Soup, fish, granite, des no, not dessert, meat. Besides, dessert isn't written like that. Number six is cheese, dessert, coffee, black tea. And we have now rewritten the menu. Now, the next thing we need to take into account is the manners when doing this. So, let's read of this. Seating manners. Once the seat is pulled back for you, sit from the left. When leaving, it is also to the left. One must not spread one's napkin until the guest of honor spreads theirs. By spreading one's napkin ahead of a guest of honor, one ends up saying, go hurry up. The napkin is to be used only for wiping one's mouth and fingertips. Also, by not using the napkin, one ends up saying, this is dirty. I'm not too sure about behind the philosophy of manners within posh places, but there we go. Bread is to be eaten after finishing soup and before dessert. When leaving in the middle of a meal, one is to fold, sorry, one is to neatly fold the napkin and leave it on top of the seat. For things that have fish bones, it is against manners to turn the fish over. Okay. One must discreetly take the bones with the knife. Thank you. And now the leaving manners. One removes one's napkin after the guest of honor removes theirs, with a dirty part on the inside. One is to fold it lightly and leave it to the left side of the table. Good for us. In the event of suddenly leaving the table, doing a signal is the end of the meal. My nose. Also, at this time, by folding the napkin too neatly, one ends up saying it was not delicious. It has managed to fold it only lightly. I don't know why that is the case, but that is besides the point. So now with all that in play, we now have to go ahead with all this. Until preparation is complete, please wait a moment at your seat. And you have ho 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 with this kind of menu. Made is cooking with a happy looking face. Good. Shut up, I do not care. You're welcome. Don't quite know if it's talent, but Claude thanks it, my choice. It's amazing. It is amazing. Talent is amazing. Hmm, nope. We can't enter from the right side. We need to enter from the left side. 
Get seated here. Let us be seated. Got seated. Don't know about the seating order, whether we need to sit down first before our guests of honour. Now then, I shall bring along the food. Now I've forgotten which one made D is. I think she was the shy one. No, don't spread the napkin. We need the guests of honour to do this first. Claw spread the napkin. Now we can spread the napkin. Spread the napkin. It said that twice. <laughs> no, we picked on it first and then it came up with that box. Good for us. It's very yummy. Is it now? It wasn't like the last time where we just got like a huge amount of human mat on the table. For the next, I used special fish found nowhere but here. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> it appears to be fish with bones. Shall we flip the fish? Or shall we dissect the fish discreetly with a knife? I think we should take the bones off with a knife. That is what is said within the lovely eating manners section of the book. A terrible stomach ache. Just can't eat any more. I can't eat more of this. Fold a napkin. Yes. Folded a napkin. Fold a napkin neatly one more time. No. To the left side, because we leave on the left side. We enter from the left side as well as leave the left side. Left the seat. Okay, dokie. Now that was a bit of an endeavour to do on the first time around when I tried it outside of recording, because First of all, I need to actually learn which order it all came in, but that's besides the point. That shall be all for today. About your stomach ache. Terribly sorry about that. Whether you had the qualifications to save Miss Claw, I wanted to test you on that. Is that what the book is about, about manners? Ever since I became like this, I've been worrying over Miss Claw and have always been watching over her to see that she's alright. Mistress is right now being tormented by a curse so strong she can no longer control it. Please somehow save Mistress. There's nothing I can do but watch over her. Just seem like it in your current form. Please have this. Obtained music sheets for Cap Christ number 24. By your arm, truly. Please free Miss Claw. Best regards from here on to. Thank you very much, Spirit. Who? Hoo hoo, master, you must make Claw's Requiem a reality. Okay, that's a bit of a tricksy one. Nicely put there. Make Cl Claw's Requiem a reality. I guess Claw has been causing much trouble for my children and will keep likely keep on doing so. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. We're doing the same to each other in any case. No, that's not true at all. How do you know that? Uh, but the, we are going to equip that, and we're also going to equip the violin. Yes, we shall do that. Most certainly, we shall do that with the lovely violin. You really? You know, you are really amazing. Ah, I'll have to do lots just to keep up. You with the violin and I with the piano. Let's perform a turn together. Like this. 
surely it'll be lots of fun lots of fun are you sure it's lots of fun and who's that within the seat for one of every old child to be able to feels unbelievable even oh, I just realized the shadows below it feels unbelievable even when I see it with my own eyes Panagony and the likes, even though I can't play any of that. A child like this? A genius boy, huh? A really big deal. Some of the guests are missing. As expected, it's the boy without a piano that shines forth. Of course, his piano skill level hasn't caught up after all. Well, I do think that the piano player does play well for his age, but, of course, when he's alongside Michael, it turns out like this. Why does his performance always have that for accomplishment? They could just hire an adult for that. No help in it. It is what he himself wishes for. Seems to throw a tantrum when his little brother is not the one providing accomplishment accompaniment I mean sorry though they call him genius he's still just a child his younger brother was it Perry or something they're also twins so it's easy to figure out that they come along quite closely who's Perry is it Michael's brother I'm tired. <laughs> of course, doing that today, doing that today, sorry, doing that day after day would make you tired, wouldn't it? That's right, don't want to play violin anymore after all. My, my. Everyone praised you for your violin, right? Didn't you hear? No, didn't hear anything at all. Oh, uh, I see, you're always like that. Because I have no interest. So you have no interest with the violin. What is it? Mother? Ah, oh, it's a maid. Ah, um... Um, are you a new maid? Why, y yes. I am a new maid who has just come here. Please call me Charlotte. I see. I am Prairie. This is Michael. Michael. Best regards. Best regards. That's nice. Young Master Michael. Right? What is it? Uh, n nothing. It's nothing at all. So then, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. But what? Ah, ah, she was impressed by Michael's violin skills. Nothing really. Just that, 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 just that, that kid seems to have gotten to quite like you a lot. Huh? What are you saying, Priory? Well, it's not related to me, so it's all right, I guess. <laughs> seems like things get things all get interesting. So Priory is the confident one and Michael is just the shy one. It would say, well not the shy one, but the one that keeps quiet. So, what is the story of this maid? Wah! What, what is it? Uh, n n it's not, nothing, young master. I am merely going to practice. I see, then, then do your best. How about returning to your job? Excuse me. Oh, rude or what? So, are we somewhere within Michael's memory? A flower for decoration. No business going out there for now. No business going out there for now. 
so you finally came. Took quite a while, really. Pari, since when have you been? Since about three hours ago. Really now? It's troublesome how you dislike practicing. You should try practicing along with me now. Well, okay, along with me now. Charlotte? Uh, didn't you go back to your job? Uh, but that's right, but... Uh, uh, mm. oh, I see. You're also cleaning this room, right? Uh, well, yes. Now let's get our minds back on what we were doing before. <laughs> I think I know what's happening. But I'll leave you guys to decide upon that. <laughs> it's already dark, so let's wrap it up for today. I guess so. Even so, to be... Uh, so, even so, as expected of you, Michael, to be able to play that well without practicing much at all. As for me, I still need to continue practicing. Well then, I'll go on ahead. Hmm. Young master, are you not going? Not really. Just somehow, don't feel like moving. Young master, you're amazing. It's the first time I've ever heard such beautiful tones. Perhaps so. It was amazing. I felt moved. Ah, Young Master, I really like your performance, Young Master. Ah, uh, um. Now then, I'll be going. Uh, okay. Hmm. By the way, how old are you? For you seem not much different in age from us. Um, 13. I just became able to work here. So I became employed. Hmm. Seems like they've been cutting costs again. What is that? Nothing, really. Okay. What of all this? What of all that? da 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 Piano has been set here. A room over here. Tools of music inside, tools of music inside. What else can we discover within Michael's memories? Believe it, but these are his memories. Because this probably seems to be a time and place before we entered the mansion itself. Good. Let's go back in. So we have all this. Okay. Michael's small items used in daily life inside. Clothing. Clothing. I know I need to probably go to bed, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Music washes away from... So, yeah, music washes away from the soul. The dust of everyday life. Nicely done. And in a way, it does, because listening to beautiful music can... Really soothe for heart and soul. Pyro's clothes and other stuff inside, other stuff inside, other stuff inside. Small items that Pyro uses and other stuff inside. That. Huh. What is it? No, it's nothing. Just stuck on a little study and you see. Diligent as always, Pyro. You should study too, Michael. Otherwise the teacher would get mad again. What a bother. I will eventually now. Really now, you can do it if you just try, but since you don't try, Michael. Oh dear. Bit of brother rivalry, it must seem. Michael's bed. Yes, Lee. Good night, Prairie. Good night, Michael. Let us go and walk away. The master. Huh? 
What? Uh, um, Master is calling you, and so... So that's why he came to wake me up. Alright, understood. Yes. Will you let me... Will you let way for me? Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh dear. E. Anything about me? No, it's nothing, nothing. Though it doesn't t matter much, can't you talk a little more straightforwardly? I'm sorry. Some people are a bit more nervous than you, my troll. Some of us need to take it a little more step by step. Inside Priory has been studying. Did you write all of this? Just when did he go to sleep, that guy? I'm not quite too sure on that matter. So do we interact with him? Yo, mate, you got up late, didn't you? Hey, Perry. Lately, I've been falling a queer gaze on me. I've been feeling a queer gaze on me, as if I've been watched by someone. That's probably Charlotte, right? Because that kid is always wondering about near you, Michael. <laughs> Don't make that kind of face. She admires you. So isn't it cute? You wouldn't know, Browry. Can't the maid be switched or something? You don't have to go that far now. Speaking of which, Michael, you were also just called by father, right? That's right, you too, Browry. Well, a little just a moment ago. Charlotte didn't wake... You up then, see? Uh, it seems from the very start of this dream, or these, this backtrack, that Charlotte did seem to have a bit of fondness for well, Michael. What are these shadows? What are these shadows? I do not. Oh, this must be Michael's parents' room. Let's take a little look around. Take a little look around to see what is inside. Or what's possibly inside. Daily necessities that father used inside. Uh, yep. Good. What else? Unfamiliar person. Ah, so you're the young Michael, huh? I've always heard rumours about you. No, nothing. Just that I'm an old friend of your father. I had him let me come visit over. Good. And what about this one? Ah, oh, Michael, it's good to, it's good you've come. What is it? Seems a bit shaded out and mysterious. Ah, it's actually about the upcoming performance. So I'm doing another one. For the upcoming concert, how about if you only go? Uh, so how about if only you go there to perform? Huh? No. It's just something that's already been pointed out several times. This time, we'll be calling a pro pianist for, accomplish, for accompany, accompaniment. How about it? Don't wanna. As I thought. But you see, the pianist this time is quite famous. I won't perform with anyone but Perry. But it's really been pointed out several times and like this we might not be able to call anyone again even if so that's no problem right understood we'll be refusing pianos but it took great effort inviting that person is that all yes that's right then excuse me hmm You again? Um, young yeah, Master, are you perhaps not quite getting along with Master? Well, you see, that person probably doesn't think of me as a son or anything. Uh, probably just thinks of me as a convenient money maker. Because his family has no money. See, oh my gosh. That's. Speaking of which, how are you treated working at this house? Since it's that person, you probably aren't getting much of a decent wage. You too must be experiencing misfortune. But that's not true, Master is truly a good person. I always think that it's great that I've been able to work here. I see. 
Yes. It's truly like a dream to be actually be able to eat two pieces of bread every day. And even a bed is prepared for me. I'm truly unhappy for not being able to sleep on the floor. Which is why Master is truly a good person. Little Master Michael, please if you could somehow get along with Master. Yeah. I understand. But I now understand what kind of treatment you're getting. Are you satisfied with this? But I'll be going now. Your master. Hmm. I don't think Michael is getting the right pointers. Okay, so we must be going there next time. Would you please move? <laughs> I thought I was going to be trapped in there. <laughs> hey, Michael, about Charlotte. Won't you do something for her? Something? Well, I don't want to. But by leaving things like this, that child seems quite pitiful. What's the deal? Siding with her so far like this? Uh, that's not really what I'm trying to do here. Are you sure, Pyrie? <laughs> hmm. Is all of this ever any convenience? Ah, uh, Majol. Pyrie. Just the right time. There's something I wanted to talk with you about. I see. What is it? You see, there seems to be another upcoming performance, but for this one, could you go perform alone for me? Did Father say anything to you? Uh, no, well, uh, something unnecessary. Don't talk that way about your own father now. Well, anyways, that day I have some business to take care of. I see, then I won't go either. I'll have the concert cancelled, or have the day moved. This is for your sake, Nigel. Always performing alongside someone as unskilled as me, you won't gain anything, you know. You have talent, so no, no matter what, you can't just stop now. You have to aim for something even higher. Higher, huh? What's the point in doing something like that? Even if I can play well, it won't be enjoyable like that. Michael, that's an unreasonable demand. To be able to play well and enjoy it? You wish for too much. Then I don't e I don't have to even play well. If it's talent that must be bond to something like that, then I don't need it. Prairie wants that talent, but Michael doesn't want his own talent. In any case, if it's not with you, Prairie, I won't go perform, because I won't listen no matter what they tell me. Uh, you should really grow a little more distant from your little brother. Really. An older brother who just, ca who just can't be helped, aren't you? It's also quite tough being Michael's twin. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I understand now, that's enough. I'll have to tell to father. What of all this? What of all this? The sound of footsteps. What kind of footsteps must be stepping away? That guy, performing all the way until this kind of da time. Hmm. That sound feels a little... Little what? Ah, young master. Why are you in a place like this? Just can sleep a little. Oh, I see. So you were the one making the footstep sounds, right? I'm sorry. The floor there doesn't seem at all nice. The floor has been torn here. Prairie? Michael? Why have you been performing all the way until a time like this? Uh, well... Would it be alright to continue? Uh, hey, wait a little. Or what? Just that... It feels as if some... 
but there's something strange with that sound, as if the piano sounds a little off. Huh? There's no way. I hear it to be the same as always. No. But... Don't touch my piano! Huh? Something strange with a piano sound? Impossible, because I... Playing all of this time, didn't notice anything strange. Or is it that thing? Absolute pitch, they call it. Quite gifted, aren't you? Prowy, what is it? Of all of a sudden. All of a sudden. It's not all of a sudden. What could you possibly have never have noticed that I've been trying to endure it all this time? My endurance is already at its limit. Always, always because of your selfish desires. You cause me so much trouble. Oh dear. It seems that Michael's little brother has gotten a bit of an uproar. However much I practice, I always get criticised. As if telling me that no matter how much I try, it's pointless. For anyone, everyone, it's always Michael, Michael. As if a lazy person like you is really all an... Uh, sorry. As if a lazy person like you is really any good at all. It's because of you that I'm not loved by father. And even that, you, while having stolen everything I wanted, are you trying to throw it all away? That, above all, is what I cannot forgive. <laughs> and now probably says, <laughs> God, this situation's gone a bit out of hand between these two twins. I wish I wasn't born as a twin. If you didn't exist, my hard work would have probably been praised. It would have all been better if only I was born to this family. You should just... Go die. What? Just what is this? Why are you saying such things? Then fine. Because I also... I hate you too, because I won't forgive even for your apologise. Hmm. Don't feel like talking for the way now. Okay. What are all this though? No business going there. Yeah, it seems probably outrageous. It's all over this room. All of these rooms. Hmm. Young Master? Um, just a moment ago, I heard Young Master Priory's voice. Did something happen? It's not really related to you. Did Master Prairie say something to you? Um, I think that it's best not to mind him too much. That person always said bad things about you, young master. I think he has a warped mind. <laughs> oh dears. No matter what young master Prairie says to you, young master, your talent will not disappear and so... Quit it already! It's enough already. In times like this, please stop. I hate him. Why? After all, we've been. Until after all, haven't we always been together? Truly, that was what I thought. What I always thought. But it is certainly, as Charlotte says, whatever Prairie says, whatever I think, the reality doesn't change. Even though I have, I have something I thought I didn't need. The only, f so the only the thing I want is something I can't obtain. Even though the only thing I wanted were those times back then, those fun days of before. That's right. It's all that fiend's fault. If I never started doing that, I wouldn't have been hated by Prairie. 
It's all, all this strange instrument's fault for all this to... Cat's voice. Why is a cat in a place like this? It somehow feels as if it's comforting me. Good, good. Where did you come from? A lost cat, perhaps. Claw. Giving a name will perhaps lead to no good. There's nowhere a stray cat will be allowed anyways. But... <coughs> is this cat joyous, maybe? Claw. Now then, I'll bring you food again at night, so wait until then, alright? I have no more for now. No more, see? <laughs> Cute, aren't you, Claw? Hmm. We're back in a place like this. Okie dokie. To all some music inside. It's about time that I go now. Flower decoration. One more of this. No, this is going there. More there. Followed me in here. Floor, you can't do this. Coming into somewhere like this. If you were to get found by someone, like the maid. Uh, um. Ah. Uh. What do you intend to do? Tell father about this? Well, I, I wouldn't say anything. Really? I absolutely won't. There's no way I could tell about this. Been all right, but what? Um, nothing. Um, uh, can I pet it? Huh? Is that no good? No, it's all right, but Charlotte? Yes. Are you my ally, or are you their ally? As for that, no question. I am your ally, master, young master. I see. Okay. Young master, what is it? Um, I bought the bread I received for today. Would it be alright to give this to Little Claw? Yes, yeah, alright, I guess. Good idea. Fufu, cute, isn't she? Hmm. What's his intentions now? Must say. I've got a bad feeling about something. Claw. Claw is... Huh. What did Prairie do? Claw? Where are you, Claw? Why can't I find you anywhere? Claw? Oh my. Charlotte, do you know where Claw is? Uh, I, I, I... Do you know something? It's, it's just that there wasn't anything, anything else I could have... Could you really have 
your master is just that master said to me about little claw and so I I did you really kill claw uh, I didn't kill I couldn't have done that I let her go in the mountains by master's orders <coughs> what into such a desolate mountain as that that's like Pretty much the same as killing her, isn't it? It's just that if if I were driven out of this house, where would I go? I really like this home. This home where Master and Young Master live. It's my fault. Doing something superficial things as giving her a name and feeding her, even though there's no, there was no way I could have raised her. It's my responsibility. Claw, I killed her. It's not your fault, young master. Huh? You didn't do anything wrong, young master. The one to blame is... The one to blame is young master Prairie. Uh, the one who told Master about Yum P Claw is none other than Yum Master Prairie. So, everything is his fault. I wonder if Charlotte is the reason for the fissure between Prairie and my children in the first place. But, if you're going to say that, you're... Damn it. Why did all this? It's enough already. Whatever. Even though we're twins. Though we're twins. Just why are we so different like this? Everyone has different personalities. Just saying that right now. Ah, oh, young master. Nothing to say? Okie dokie. What about talking to father instead? Father? What is it, my child? I can't show up at the next public performance. What are you saying, my child? There's no way that can be allowed, you know. But, no, you ca no can do. It cannot be cancelled. Don't wanna. I don't wanna show up. My child. You, who do you think I am? Your father, you know. If you are going to be that way, I can just throw you out of this home. You listen to what I tell you. Yes. Hmm. Nothing more to say on that there, is there? My jaw has also been quite some trouble. What? <laughs> Yes, that's right, because he whines and throws tantrums. Really? Seriously, even though we don't know how long he'll stay, still be able to keep on making money. Even a wonder child, after passing 20, will just be an ordinary person, even though we need to use him now when we can. So your children aren't precious to you. They're just objects. In the end, this is how things are. It wasn't just Prairie who was loved by father. I also was of worth merely to be used. Just why did I have to be used by a guy like that? It would have all been better if I never started violin in the first place. This is the reason for absolutely everything that's happened. This kind of thing, I hate it. Y 
Yeah, master. Um, did something happen to be, to be? Did something happen between you and master? Don't concern yourself with me. It could, if you could please somehow show some cheerfulness. Did something happen between you and master? Could he have pointed out to you the recent slump the family has fallen in? It's all right, because your talent is absolute, young master. This is nothing we can't deal with, all because of Prairie. We've had to pull up with all sorts of mental burdens. If you practice a lot, master and everyone else will be able to acknowledge your abilities, young master. Don't kid me. Who would ever want to, for a guy like that? Just what would you know? Uh. You killed. Uh. God. Your ma. Huh? Did I do that? No, this was, that was an accident. It was because of an old chandelier that's gotten fragile. But I was the only one who pushed her over, wasn't I? It's all fine though, isn't it? To have killed her. That chick was nice, oh no. In the first place, killing is no big deal. Life is something that disappears in an instant after all. That's right. Doing something like that is no big deal. No, you still need to grow up, my jaw. Not my fault. This is horrible. As for Charlotte's corpse, the situation was treated as if, for some reason, she died accidentally due to the sudden falling of a chandelier. I know nothing of it. I didn't do anything. As I behaved with this attitude, no one suspected, with, suspected me. Even after one year has passed, still nothing has changed. Not anything with regards to Charlotte or Prairie. Golly. Claw. I am the worst. Even though I knew that Claw was human. Because the innocent aspect of you had some resemblance with that other Claw. Which is why gradually I came to think that maybe my claw has come back as a human. I ended up coming to think in such a way. But... That's right. I was wrong. Claw is the same as me, isn't she? A human just like me. What have I, until now? The misunderstanding that I've ended up having was great disrespect both to that other claw and this claw claw is not a cat she's a human one who has received a tragic curse but otherwise an ordinary girl my own claw is for sure already dead she won't come back it's about time that i need to accept it table
Four memories. What is it? I really hate the violin. It's all because of this thing, but tons of terrible things have happened. Some terrible things have happened with Michael too, haven't they? And with Claw too, up until now, a ton of terrible things. And so, Claw hates herself. You and I are quite alike in some ways, aren't we? Perhaps so. In our selfish desires, for example. Perhaps so. Which is perhaps why I can't just leave you alone. Strangely, it feels as if performing here isn't so unpleasant. Maybe because the audience is only you, Claw. I don't quite know. Strange, isn't it? Because performance was the most wonderful one up at up till now, thanks Michael. Nah. You see, when Michael performs, Claw is able to feel very much at ease. The curse is little by little being broken. And that is not only because of playing skill, it's because it's Michael that's playing. And so, Claw really likes Michael's performance. I see now. Surely it is reaching her too. Just a little more, with just a little more, I see. My second floor passageway key. That has been a very long endeavor, folks. Hopefully, you enjoyed that as much as we have. Well, I have some dark backstory there, but must say, very good for the atmosphere. So, have a wonderful day, folks. And take care of yourselves.